Hey guys, it's Crystal again. I'm back. I made a video two days ago, literally two days ago, talking about my concerns for the future of Korean Pokemon cards, specifically in the Scarlet and Violet era. Literally two days later, I already see a problem. Someone's already overcharging for Korean Pokemon cards. As a disclaimer, I'm not calling this person bad. I don't want anyone to show this person hate. I'm just giving some recommendations as how this person can move forward with better practices just so people can buy Korean Pokemon products and not you know, contribute to the hype as we've seen with Japanese Pokemon cards. So I am going to mention names today, unfortunately. I, I feel like I just have to so we can all see an example as to why I was concerned in my previous video. Okay, so the website that we're going to be looking at, it's actually an individual called Twin Collectibles. They have a YouTube channel, they have a Twitch channel as well. They do box breaks, pack breaks. So I looked upon their website. The way I found them in the first place, when I was watching YouTube videos, they came up as a short and I saw they were opening Korean packs. I was like, okay, let me check this out. I just want to like be more vigilant with what's happening with the Korean Pokemon, you know, openings nowadays, especially with all the hype and changes happening. So I checked their website. They mainly, you know, sell English Pokemon cards, Japanese Pokemon cards, even other TCGs like Y Schwarz, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, MetaZoo, etc. So I was like, okay, so English, but where's the Korean? Funny enough, when I came into the Japanese Pokemon section, I found Korean EV heroes there. And to put things in context too, you know, I checked out their English side too. I think the prices are not too bad, especially for things like Chilling Rain, Astral Radiance, Fusion Strike. $5 a pack, that's not too bad. It makes sense. And maybe other sets like Evolving Skies, it's a little bit more hype. $10, okay, a little bit of stretch, but you know, it is what it is. This product is a bit more scarce. But when you go to the Japanese tab here, there's already something wrong here. Why is there a Korean EV here? I respect the guy, at least, for labeling it as Korean. That's great. But I would not put it in the Japanese section because someone can easily just, you know, look through all the packs. Everything else is Japanese, by the way. We have Battle Region, Starbirth. Nothing else is in Korean except Korean EV Heroes. And also on top of that, there's no Japanese EV Heroes. So if that's the only EV Heroes product, someone can easily just get mesmerized by the product, you know, image, click on it and just forget the fact that it's Korean, you know, unless they're well educated and know that booster boxes shouldn't look this oblong. But I looked at the prices, and that's also something I don't agree with, the actual price itself. To put things in context, I'm going to put on screen here the retail prices of Korean booster boxes and booster packs. This is a regular set. It's not a high class set. You know, you get your typical SR if you're lucky to even pull it. Booster boxes, if you convert 30,000 Korean won to USD, with nowadays' is a conversion rate, it should be at most $23 if you round up USD, 23 versus 90 that's nearly four times the amount of retail. That's, no, like, I get it if you need to make your money, but that's too much in my opinion. And then you go to booster packs over here, $4 a pack. To put it in context, a booster pack in South Korea for Pokemon cards should be, is usually a thousand Korean won. Converting this to USD, that's 77 cents, not even a dollar. And again, oh yeah, one thing I need to bring up too, we have Eevee here, Eevee here, he can't even spell Eevee Heroes correctly. So maybe you might want to fix that. I'm not going to bash you for the misspelling. It's more so the pricing here. Let's just get back on topic. But if you do the math here, $4 is five times the amount of retail. Like like I said, I've, I've even said this in my previous openings. One to two dollars, I get. You need to make your profit. But you don't need to go this crazy. The sad thing is, too, you can even see here, only 17 units left. This is packs. There's 30 booster packs in a booster box. So some people have already bought this, and that already concerns me. Because the main point of this, I just don't want to see what happened to Japanese Pokemon cards happen to Korean bo Pokemon cards. This isn't helping the situation. This is just adding to the hype. And on top of that too, when I switch over to the booster boxes, 19 units. This person mass bought products and I don't know how many booster boxes this individual sold, but if the bar says 19 and it, al it almost looks like he's running out, he probably sold a lot already at $90. You can get like at least three booster boxes with that usually, you know, that's that's too much in my opinion. And of course not including international shipping. I know that's expensive, but to me this is already just disappointing. To put things more into context, I'm going to bring another individual. I know this person doesn't have the best reputation, but I think he's learned his lessons from over time. I'm talking about Pokey Any. Of course you've probably heard from him, you know, from Vice, po uh, Opossum Bud, etc. He does sell, he does focus on selling Japanese Pokemon cards. He did start selling Korean as well. I do respect the individual though for at least making a separate section for Korean Pokemon cards and clearly indicates on, on their website. But most importantly, 
this person's prices are way more reasonable. He's selling individual booster boxes for 54. Yes, it is above retail, but if he's within the United States and you know you live locally, after international shipping, taxes, import fees, it makes a bit more sense. And of course, business business has got to make money. And he's even selling here a bundle of Korean Violet and Scarlet for 104. That's like $52 per booster box compared to 90. I get it, EV Heroes is hype, but it's a regular set. You don't have to make it that extortionate, in my opinion. It's like these prices are reasonable. So Pokiani, I appreciate you for, you know, not hyping up, pumping the market for Korean booster boxes because we don't need that right now. We're trying to keep Korean Pokemon product at a reasonable level where everyone can enjoy it. Like, because people have gotten priced out, I don't want to see people leaving the hobby when other languages become inaccessible. And last but not least too, if, if I had one more piece of advice besides the prices, if you're gonna, you know, charge something high, at least put a description on your, you know, on your actual website for the product. Please mark that secret rares aren't guaranteed. Please indicate that the card quality isn't the same as Japanese Pokemon cards. There's clearly a difference. I even have commenters. Let me, you know, put things into context. Someone even said on a previous video recently that he almost bought a booster box of, you know, Korean, I don't know, some sort of Korean set thinking that it's Japanese. That's already, you know, problematic. Some people, again, just don't read. It happens. So that's just my advice to, you know, you can say what you want, you know, you can do what you want, but I hope moving forward, this will help you as a business. If you also want to avoid people, you know, having problems with the product, complaining, if someone were to get a Korean Pokemon alt art and send it out for grading thinking it's Japanese, you know, the market price of Korean EV heroes or Korean Umbreon VMAX Moonbreon, you know, in the Korean market's around 200 versus Japanese 2000, you're, you're something way more than 200. There's obviously a massive price difference. And, you know, like if you were to really compare this or not indicate the differences, that's going to lead to a lot of potential problems later on. So again, no hate towards the individual. I'm not saying he's a bad person. It's just there are things that could be fixed to prevent future issues and also to prevent, you know, you from being called a scammer. You don't want someone thinking that you're misleading them. And actions like these could easily be misconstrued and you want to make sure you're giving your buyers what they're really expecting. So you really have to make it super clear as to what's Korean versus Japanese. Make a separate tab for God's sake, please. <laughs> so no one assumes, you know, the incorrect situation here when they're buying something. So you know, I don't really make videos like this. This is just more so to protect you guys, to make breakers aware of what should be done, you know, to make sure we can all collect Pokemon cards in the way that we should be.